happy Monday morning. It is Labor Day. Ah, oh, sugar. Just remembered I forgot to share something I got in PR, and I can't remember where I stuck it now. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> that's interesting. It's, it's a... It doesn't matter. But it's weird that I don't know where I put it because it's a big container. I put it in the thing. Oh, it rolled over here. <laughs> it's this it's cosmetic thing. I'll film a little clip and stick it in this morning. They don't ever tell me I have to do anything when they send it to me, but I feel like it's appropriate to share it in a haul. Okay. So, yeah, there was no fair footage, but I'll insert a picture right here. Um, that <laughs> there's a little area set up. So we just, we walked around for maybe two and a half hours and that we looked at the animals. We looked at, um, Aaliyah and Bella's entries for 4-H. We looked at, um, the commercial building, you know, we had some food and then we came back here and hung out with Wilson and Malpe. So we, yeah, we were there for a couple of hours, but we went over about four o'clock. We should have waited an hour because the wristbands, you know, where you buy a wristband and you can ride all the rides you want within a certain amount of time. It ended at five. So it was really busy, um, from four to five, but anyway, uh, so yeah, I apologize. I meant to take some, some footage there, but it was so, there's just for so many people, it would have been, all you would have seen is people. You wouldn't even be able to see the animals. Like I said, we should have waited a little bit, but it's fine. So Bob wanted to go in. Bob was off all week, but he wanted to go in today for a couple hours. I think you've, I think we vlogged about that on the last one. Um, just to make sure everybody's uh, vacation and holiday pay and everything for payroll was all set. So he's working on that. And I'm not sure exactly what time he's going to be home. But oh, by the way, it's... Sorry, I forgot to tell you what time it is. 6.57. So I've been up for about an hour. Um, I was doing a few more things downstairs. And actually, let's go down there. And I will show you because all the furniture is back. I don't think I went down there since we brought it back. But so I was doing some things in here, pick up in there. I was checking. I washed yesterday. I took most of them down, right? But I washed all of my brushes yesterday afternoon. Um, all of my travel brushes, all of my daily brushes. Um, I don't know what else I did since I vlogged, but at any rate. So nice. It's just so nice to not be a mess down here. So, all right, y'all. You guys saw this yesterday. Today we're going to Green Bay. We're going to go to Best Buy to get a TV and a surround sound thing. And then an end table here. And I've had this panel. I used to have one on either side of our entertainment center at the old house. But one of those is up in our bedroom. And then I'm going to put this one up and then an end table there. I think... Um, the bar is going to go right there. We have to get two, I've told you that before, two more of the stools. And uh, we're going to get a high top table there. And I wanted to show you guys this. See this little table back here? I've had this little table since I was 18. That's like a countertop on it. Um, I forgot to show Stephen else. And uh, my dad made it for me. When I moved out, went to the dorms because uh, the little dorm fridges, you know, would sit on the ground. So he made that to put a dorm fridge on and then we would have storage for our dishes and stuff underneath it with the little cubby there. And so I've used it for a nightstand over the years. I've used it in every single house and every single, you know, it's, it's never been put away in storage. Um, it's just, it's just special. So, um, I don't know if this floor looks funny, but no, nope, just the way the light's hitting it. So I'm going to return it to its original purpose back there. We're going to take the, we have like a, Bob calls it the beer fridge upstairs. It's a little bit taller than a normal kind of dorm size fridge, excuse me, but it's still little and it's something else. So we're going to put that on there. So we have a fridge down here, but anyway, so this is going to go here. I'm going to get a big green plant to go here. At home goods today hopefully we'll see what I find it's not any rush I'm gonna wait till I find one I like 
Uh, and then Stephen kind of put these here in the corner. I, we had them sitting there in the corner. And, he, and I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that there or that. He's like, no, I really like that. So we like angled them a bunch of different ways. And this is sort of what we settled on. And again, I, I want to line that top one and um, put blankets in it. So let's just go over here. If I can get the light on here. I probably don't need it, but I, one of my chores this week is that that I've given myself is I want to take the screens out and wash them because they are just filthy and then wash those windows. So the treadmill will go here. That's what we've determined. But we can't do it until these doors get back on and we can't get them on ourselves. And Stephen tried to help and something's not right. So we're waiting for the people that took them off, meaning the flooring people. <clears throat> when they come back to put the floor in the bathroom, they're going to put the doors back on. So... This is the vanity I was talking about. I can't figure out, I have a bunch of hardware, but I can't figure out how to, how to attach that mirror to, to the vanity. And there's holes on the back side of both of them, so it definitely looks like it was bracketed. I just can't figure out what the, it's fine. It's not like we're down here all the time. You guys have seen that, and now this is the, but I'm saying, you guys, can we just discuss? First of all, I love this bedding, but look at this. I mean, who does this happen to? Me. What happened is they weren't dry when we left for the races. So I, I they were close-ish, but not completely dry. So I just hung them over the chairs. Well, they're so heavy. The material on this is so heavy that it took on the, you know, the top of the chair. That's the little bump from the top of the chair. And should it be rewashed so it doesn't have that? Yep. Am I going to do it? Nope. After somebody sleeps down here, I will then rewash it. But I need one more pillow, by the way. There's the other sham. I lost a pillow somewhere. I don't understand it. But, and so, yeah, there we go. You know, see the, see the nightstands with the lamps. I, again, I don't know that they're staying in the center there, but it's fine for now. Maybe they will. Maybe I'll leave them like that. So that's this room. <laughs> I'll be ready when this door is gone. This is actually the door from the other bedroom. Not quite sure how it landed all the way in here, but it did. Um, and the other bedroom has the bathroom door sitting in it. It's fine. I'm trying to decide if I can get away with one more day on this hair if I need to wash it. So this is the other guest room. Um, again, I went with the same bedding. I want to find, we're going to have, I think I said yesterday, I can't remember, we're going to have custom blinds made like we did upstairs, and, but I need to get curtains for both rooms. This is not staying there, I just don't know what I'm doing with that thing. This is <coughs> the eyesore, that's what Paul calls it. Uh, furniture from my mom. When I had this, in case you've never heard this story before, this, I had this in my room when I was growing up, that was my dresser. It was all painted white. And then it came with me when I moved out and we took it to just to see, hey, you know, can you strip this to see if there's anything underneath it? And if not, let's just, I'm not sure why the focus problem with my camera. Let's just, uh, we were just going to repaint it. And that's what was underneath the paint. And my mom bought, and my mom and dad, er, not my mom and dad, my mom, because she had it when she was younger. They bought it painted. And this is what was underneath it. Crazy, right? They don't make things like that anymore, as my mother would say. So this is the original mirror. It looks like it's, I'm not sure if you can see, it looks like it's dirty, but it's not. It's just, it could be re-silvered, but I like it just like it is. And then this is my a chair for my Aunt Lois. So, does it go? Probably not. Not probably, it doesn't. But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> so, and that's the door I was talking about. It's just hanging out right there. So everything is done with the bathroom. I, I know you guys are sick of seeing this, but so many of you wanted to see it after the stuff was in it, so that's why I decided to give you a little, little tour. So Bob and I have a list of errands to do in Appleton today. We're not leaving until 11 or so, and we were going to go to B-dubs, but I think he's decided he wants to go to P.F. Chang's because it's open. So we'll see how busy it is there, whether he changes his mind or not. All right, guys, it's 10.30. This one is clearly home from work. Yep. 
<laughs> oh, is it going to be one of those days? No, you're just going to be sassy. So, uh, where did I say we could go first? Fleet Farm. Right. <laughs> so, we are off to Fleet Farm. I've been to Fleet Farm, I don't think, all summer. I know. You know, it's because we live in town and, and not, we used to live closer to Fleet Farm, so if he needed something, he would go to Fleet Farm. And now if he needs something, you go to Polheim's, I would say, yeah. probably. And it's just more that it's closer than a Fleet Farm, right? So he's really, he's he's got big plans. As you guys know, he's on vacation this week. Yeah. So he's going fishing with Ben a couple of days, and he needs some new lures. Maltby Saturday. Oh, and Maltby on Saturday. Yeah. Wilson and I are going to do something to amuse ourselves. Yep. Um, probably Target. She, uh, since they moved here from Milwaukee, which is over a year now, she misses Target. And so we might just make a Target run or something on Saturday. We'll see. I can always look for my end table. If I don't want something at WG now, I could look for something at TJ Maxx on Saturday, too. Mm, Wilson's not always about running errands. Not, she's not as good about running errands as you are. Right. So we're going to the Fleet Farm. Go to Sephora for me to exchange a pallet. Home goods, we're gonna look for a, a rug. At least kind of get a rough idea of how much rugs are. That sort of thing just for the basement and kind of see what they have. And uh, you still wanna do PF Chang's for lunch? Yeah, we can or do that. a meal, whatever. Yeah. Does it whatever time it happens. Yeah. And Best Buy is gonna be our last stop of the day. Yes. To oh boy, I need some gas. You can't even really rise it, maybe, because we were both in the vehicle um, when we used up the gas, and it was full when you got in the vehicle. Yeah, I'm thinking before. I'm thinking when we come home, we might want to go through Hartonville and come up Clintonville way, because I don't think you're going to be able to turn left off of this road anywhere. With <laughs> That's a good point. Labor this Day traffic. Labor Day traffic. Days. People coming back, and yeah. you think they'll be? Yeah, I suppose they'll be coming up from up. Well, they should mostly be going this way, wouldn't they? My arm hurts. Yeah, but we still have to cross the highway to turn. That's true. Either way, that's a nice drive. Yeah, we fall. haven't been that way in a long time. Right, I'll probably fall asleep anyway. So. Well, yeah, probably. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a plethora of quick trips that we can stop along the way. Either that, gas. either that or Costco where we get a better price. That's right over there by Menards. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, save a couple of cents. So, yeah, that's what's happening. I really should take some leave. I have a headache that yeah. I can't seem to get rid of. Yeah. It's right here. <laughs> funny. Oh, I'm funny. You're you something. just don't know it. You're something. Uh, and again, I apologize for the lack of fair footage. There were just too many people at the fair for me to try to get animal footage and stuff. Right. And we were we were cruising at a pretty good pace yeah. as well. Right. Wasn't our we would normally um, go a little bit slower and look at the animals a little bit more, but yeah, but, scratch the pigs. Right, but we'll see. I got a couple. Mission. You guys, the leaves are changing already. Yep, look at This week, I bet we'll see some pretty big change because it's supposed to be cool at night. 47, I think, yeah. most of the nights. All right, I'm going to go and save some battery life here, and uh, we will see you guys later. Yeah. Good afternoon, you guys. It is noon, and I'm eating some P.F. Chang's leftovers. It is noon on Tuesday, I should say. So, I think I vlogged on the way to Appleton yesterday, but then I didn't. I don't really vlog while we're doing things there, and I'll generally vlog on the way back, but I took a nap on the way back, so there was no vlogging. Um, we had a very productive day. We went to Best Buy and got the TV. <clears throat> I'll, I can show you. It's just a TV. It looks exactly like the one up here. And then we also got a subwoofer and sound bar. For that we were gonna get Bluetooth surround but I just don't think that space requires it so Bob and I went back and forth and <coughs> so we we got the surround system components or you know the subwoofer and soundbar that we could add back speakers to like Bluetooth wise but they have to have they still have to have wires to connect the two it's Bluetooth to the sound to the, anyway we got a subwoofer in summer. And then at WGNR, which is the furniture place we like to shop at, we, like, we try to buy as much as we can here locally at Senzig's, which is a local furniture store. But they did not have any of the kind of tables we were looking at. So that I, you know, that we wanted for there. I wanted a table that was not this height. 
but a little bit taller. So we found it's a little bit taller. I want to say it's 36. I think a normal table is 24. So I think ours is 36. And then the stool, you know, there's bar stools that go with it. And they're that kind of, it's kind of a two-tone, you know, like with the wood on top and the darkness and they're kind of like the other stuff. So we got that and it has, and the other thing I wanted, I wanted it to be a square, but I wanted it to be able to pull open and add a leaf when we would need that table for serving food or for people to sit at for Thanksgiving or whatever the case may be. So we were able to find that at a really good price. Everything was 20% off. And then we also found an end table that I can put in between the two. Those will be delivered on the 18th. So a couple of weeks for that. Um, I made my return at Sephora, bought a couple things that I thought of that I needed after the fact, like travel, uh, Becca first light priming filter and the travel things. I was out of that and a new dim light or glass dim light and a living proof, a dry shampoo. That's what I picked up there. Bob spent a lot of time at, we went to Fleet Farm first. I was very patient. I must, I might add very patient. Um, and then when I went, when we went to the mall where Sephora is, I ran in and did that and he went to Shields which is a sporting goods store, and he got a whole bunch more lures. He got a bunch at Flea Farm, a bunch there, and he's happy as a clown. <clears throat> and we went to eat lunch at P.F. Chang's, and then Best Buy was our last stop. We did go to Home Goods to look for area rugs. Couldn't find anything that I really liked, and we were kind of iffy about the size. So we figured out what size we needed. I came home and figured that out, and then I ordered one online. You guys will be impressed with me. It actually has color to it. Because Stephen was giving me such a hard time about how there's no color in that basement. I am not afraid to admit that I don't appreciate a lot of color. It just scares me. I don't like color on the wall. <laughs> I'd rather add it with a pillow or something or like this, like an accent rug. So I found one on Amazon. It's called like Aloha accent rug or something. And it's got like orange, green, and blues in it. And so I'm gonna, I am gonna. went out on a limb and I ordered it. So if I don't like it, I can always return it. But... I ordered it so that should be here end of the week I think something like that so yeah I, I felt like we got a lot accomplished we got everything that that pretty much that we wanted to get accomplished we did <clears throat> so yeah I mean the the basement turned into a very expensive project the flood kind of pushed us to do all of the things we were talking about doing down there we just ended up doing it sooner than we expected to but it's fine so tomorrow um, the cable guy will come to install the unit like the receiver or whatever on that wall and then tomorrow afternoon the gals coming over to measure for blinds downstairs and then um, once those are in then i'm going to figure out what i want to do i just want to put a, a valance or valance take your pick everybody calls it something everybody says it differently um over where those blinds are going to be i just feel like that completes a room a little bit more but i'm going to wait until they're in to order anything i started ordering curtain rods and i kind of picked up some it's really hard to find curtains online because you can't really see the colors. So I'm not sure. I'm going to kind of just hang tight, I think, on that. And, and I'll just finish that up at some point. Because once the blinds are in, then I, then anyway, we're going to wait on that. So yeah, I'm going to take you down there. I think I showed you the, I did. Yeah, I did. I don't need to take you down there. I already showed you. So what I'm going to do is end this vlog because <laughs> I think there's enough footage in my rambling here. And then there, um, Bob is off. We were uh, doing some stuff this morning in between my work. I don't have a ton of work to do today. Um, so um, the other thing that I did was I took this in the windows down there. I took the screens out. Bob sprayed those for me. I wiped the windows all down, the casings and everything. Um, so that's all ready. I wanted it to be, you know, uber clean for somebody that's coming in tomorrow to, to uh, measure. So, yeah. So Bob did a bunch of stuff around here this morning. He ran to Walmart and did the Walmart shopping. He went to Charlie's to get a pork butt because he's going to smoke that on Friday, which I'm excited about. And what else? I don't know. Then he came back around some lunch and he's off with Benny. They're going fishing tomorrow. So he was, they were going to do some planning. Benny bought a house and is moving. So Bob went to get him the trailer. He's going to borrow a trailer, you know, things like that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the long weekend with us. Not as much vlogging as I thought we were going to get, but better than nothing. Oh, wait, before I close it out, I was going to tell you, can you hear the, every once in a while, you, you can hear that? That's my baby brother. He's here taking down the tree. Um, with you, you guys know we lost the, the whole tree, all of the tree in the front. And then this other tree, Bob, just, we don't, he doesn't think it's super healthy. And Matthew agrees. And I don't know. 
So he's taking it down. There he is. And all this cuteness. It was a tree and now it's not. So he's doing that. He's going to grind the stump there and he'll grind the stump up there. And then the tree on the end here, not this one, but this one. Um, there's something up with it. We don't know for sure. So Matthew's going to trim off some stuff on that. He's going to trim up this one over here because it's really come in nicely again. And there are some branches hanging over the house. He's going to trim all that up for us. We do pay him, by the way, in case anybody wants to come for me. We pay him. It's a, you know, he would do it for free, and I'm not okay with that. So, um, yeah. So, all right. So, all of those things said, <laughs> I'm going to end this vlog and eat my chicken that's now cold because I talk too much. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.